show the step-by-step -step mechanism for the formation of one bromo 2 propanol from one propene and the reaction is called a halohydrin formation reaction because you are adding an OH and you are adding uh, a halogen to a double bond okay so you have your one propene CH2 and one propene reacts with molecular bromine three lone pairs of electrons on each BR so this bond goes attacks the BR and while it's attacking the BR one of the lone pairs of the BR that's being attacked grabs that terminal carbon and at the same time that bond between the two BRs goes to the second BR as a fourth lone pair this is what you get CH3 C, or that's, that should be a CH CH now you only have a single bond between the, the two carbons and now you have this cyclic bromonium compound and in the process you form a BR minus a bromide so that's step one step one Step two, the reactant is the product in step one. So CH3, CH, BR in a triangular fashion, CH2. Okay, so if you look at the, the reaction, you're, you have H2O in your reaction mixture. So this is where the H2O enters the picture. So O... H H is H2O. Okay, we do have a positive charge on that bromine. So then bromine is uh, positively charged. So what happens is one of the lone pairs on the oxygen on the H2O molecule attacks that carbon. And while the O, while the o is attacking that middle carbon, this bond between the middle carbon and the BR goes to the BR as a third lone pair and you form this intermediate CH3 CH now attached to the middle carbon is an OHH you still have one lone pair there and then to the right carbon you have a CH2 and you have a BR just like with the addition of molecular halogen Halohydrin formation is an anti-addition reaction, meaning the BR is on top and the H2O is in the bottom, or vice versa. Okay, so now the positive charge is now on that oxygen. Remember that in step one we produced this BR minus. So then in step three, what happens is the CH3, CH. O H H lone pair positive charge CH2 BR so you, the second BR which is a bromide at this time is that is not very basic but it's basic enough to remove that H from your H2O and while it's removing the H this bond between the O and the H goes to the O as a second lone pair and finally you form your halo hydrant CH OH downwards and then CH2 BRS upwards so the addition is anti anti addition meaning the halogen is up one direction and the OH is going towards the opposite direction hence anti